Joel 2 and 1. Lo ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in the holy in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a, and a strong. There have not been ever the light, neither shall be any more after it. Shaitan, man, and, that, and that's the day of the Lord, man. The day of the nuclear destruction that the Lord's gonna bring upon the planet Earth, man. Okay? There ain't gonna be nothing like it ever, ever again in history, man. And there has never been anything like it before. Okay, it's gonna be a day of darkness and gloominess, of clouds and thick darkness, man. America's gonna be covered in darkness. The whole planet's gonna be covered in darkness in that day, man. That's right. People thinking that the Lord's coming back to bring peace, man. The Lord said he's coming back to bring a sword, man. The Lord is a man of war. That's what the Lord's coming back. The Lord's coming back to bring flaming fire and taking vengeance, man. This is the God of the universe. He's, he's sending his son back who he's put all the judgment and dominion and power and authority in his hands to judge all the people on the planet Earth, man. You people should be afraid, but y'all ain't got no fear of the Lord because y'all y'all not wise. Y'all not wise. You you people are not you people don't have any any true wisdom. So you don't have the wisdom of the Halbashim Yahushai because y'all don't fear him. They think nobody sees them, huh? Kind. So most I just gonna have to get rid of y'all. Right? Even to the years of many generations, a fire devour before them and behind them flame burning. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, and nothing shall escape them. That, exactly, man. That, that The land before them was uh, was as the Garden of Eden and then it became a desolate wilderness, man. America's, America is... It looks like paradise, man. It looks beautiful and everything. But when those nuclear missiles go off, man, the most high's gonna, gonna get rid of that shit, man. Okay? Most high's gonna get rid of it. It's gonna be a, a desolate, a desolate land. Go ahead. That's it. Verse Verse three. Uh, verse 4, the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as, a, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devour the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Con, man. So those missiles are coming fast. They're coming in, they're coming in, a, in, a, in a specific uh, flight pattern and everything, man. Co coming coordinated and they're gonna hit their mark, okay? And they're gonna sound like a fire burning because they, they literally are gonna come with fire, man. And they're gonna, they're gonna explode on this on this place that you call America, man. God. Uh, this is the book of Second Address. Chapter 16, verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the boat, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. And that's how you know it's talking about the nuclear missiles, man. They, be, they begin to be shot until the ends of the world, man. It's the most high that's ca causing these nuclear missiles to, to come from uh, way over way overseas to America, man. Ain't no, ain't no regular arrow could do that. And you even see that in the movies. They call it a broken arrow in one movie. No, no, yeah. It broke down for missing missing nukes. Right. And, and here's the crazy thing. Um, I was just reading an article. Like, the Chinese, it's called a DF-14. I forgot the terminology they use. But they got movable ICBMs that can like move around and throughout the terrain. So, you know, Russia, China, like buddies and shit. Them Chinese, they could bring their nukes all the way up to the Russian borders, right near Alaska, and start lobbing them. So they can hit anywhere, anywhere. They, it doesn't even have to be from a silo. They can just move that shit. Right, fine. Fine, man. So America's getting ready to be judged, man. Judged in the, in the, in the most spectacular way in history. 
It's gonna be a sight to see, man. Got just a little bit. Verse 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. Verse 15. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumed the foundation of the earth. Hey, man, like, like, uh, like we've, been, we've been going into, man, it's, it's not, this, this destruction of the most size about the poor upon America, there's not going to be ever a judgment in history that's going to that's gonna match this, man. And with the most size getting ready, the ass kicking that the most size getting ready to open up on America, it's going to be something like you ain't never seen before, man. Okay? Fuck, fuck all the movies that you've seen, the Armageddon movies that you've seen, okay? All, all the movies that you've seen about the end of the world or about America. Most sides are going to talk all of that, man. Because the scriptures say eyes have not seen, man. Nor ears have, have heard. You haven't even imagined it yet, man. And the most high is the king of terrors, man. He can, bring your, he can bring your fears upon you. All the fears that you think about, the most high can do that and magnify it times 100 million, man. Verse 16, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be set upon earth shall not return again. Verse 17, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? Come on, man, and that's how bad it's going to be, man. Even, even, uh, even Ezra, when he saw this vision, man, he was wondering, hey, man, how am I going to be delivered in those days, man? Because you're going to have martial law, you're going to have World War Three, famine, plagues, death. Animals in the streets just tearing people up. And nuclear missiles and chariots. The Most High is going to have to be with you in those days to deliver you. Or you're not making it out. That's why we say that we hope to be part of the event. Uh, that's why Yahweh Shai said in the book of Matthew, uh, judgment uh, for that city is going to be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, so this judgment is going to be ten times worse, man. Yeah. This is Zephaniah 1 and 2. I will, utterly, I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of, of heaven, of the heaven, and the fishes of the sea, and the stumbling blocks with the wicked. I will cut off man from the from off the land, saith the Lord. Son, man, the Most High's getting ready to consume, cons just consume people off the land. The Most High's getting ready to just get rid of people, man. You people are taking up space with your wickedness. All right, the Most High's getting ready to discard you in various different ways, man. Even the animals, man, because the animals are polluted here, man. Most High's getting ready, getting ready to get rid of you, wicked Edomites and the wicked of our people. There's the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 7. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. God, man. So it's going to happen quick, man. It took you, it took you Edomites and you wicked heathens, man. It took you hundreds of years to build up America, man. But the Most High said he's going to get rid of America in one hour. He's going to do it quickly, man. It's gonna be so sudden, man. These people, man. It's gonna be so sudden that probably in the first 15 minutes, man, millions of people are gonna die. Here, man. Dozens of, upon dozens of millions of people are gonna die here in America. It's gonna be swift, man. And these people are not gonna be prepared for it. Y'all not gonna know what to do. And y'all just gonna blaspheme the Most High. The Most High gonna bring more judgment upon you. Uh, just to expound on that, uh, there's a YouTube video, a uh, former uh, general of NATO, American general of NATO, he was telling people 
I believe it was in Missouri, in, in like a, in a in a classroom setting, that he said in, in 40 hours, he said old people are gonna die off first. They'd be the first ones to go when all hell breaks loose. That's what he said. Edomite was telling other Edomites that you old people are gonna die off first. And it's a YouTube video on that. They had it all um, recording it. That's how bad it's gonna get. Continue on. Verse nine. And the kings of the earth, who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Right, man. That, that's how, again, that's, that's how detrimental. And, that, and that's how, that's how uh, crazy this destruction that the Lord's bringing is going to be, man. Even the kings of the earth, mind you, these are the same people that are going to be shooting nukes on this place, man. Destruction is going to be so severe. It's going to be so so grand. It's going to be so out of this world, more than they ever imagined. It's going to be so out of control that even the kings of the earth that even hate Babylon, they're going to, they're going to be well for her, man. Because there's, there hasn't been any nation that has risen on, upon the, place, the face of the earth like Babylon has, man. That the other nations have been, been able to become rich off of, have been, been able to prosper off of. Verse, verse 10, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Verse 11, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man Buyeth their merchandise any more? That's, that's right, man. So that again, that uh, that uh, that mighty and great city, that's America, because America is one of the most metropolitan of uh, metropolitan nations on the planet. Even when you look, even when you look from a satellite point of view, man, you look at America, all you see is cities. All you really see is a, is a bunch of cities. You see some green here. You see some. You see some brown here, but you see a lot of cities, man. Okay, America is just a giant city surrounded by ports. All right, and all the and all the merchants of the earth they come here and they get rich and they and they live their life, man. And they bring that that those riches back to their country. But when America gets uh, gets done away with, man, when the Most High through with America, when the Most High destroys America, ain't gonna be none of that anymore, man. So America is gonna be partial judgment for you heathens too, for the rest of you heathens at least. Go ahead. The mer the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones, and of pearls, and fine linen, and purple, and silk, and scarlet, and all thine wood, and all manner vessels of ivory, and all manner vessels of most precious wood, and of brass, and iron, and marble. Verse 13. And cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flyer, flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, the horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men. Yeah, yeah that's right, man. And uh, when you when you look at the list of those of those commodities, man, gold, silver, America holds some of the most gold in the world, man. Most some of the most uh, gold and silver here in, is here in America, which, which a lot of it is stolen. You got a lot of oil up here in America as well. And America sell, has, has sold slaves, and there's a huge, a huge uh, a hu a human uh, trafficking ring going on here in America, man. That's right. right. Verse 14. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. And all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. Right. And so there's not going to be any more tur turning up in America, no more God bless America. It's, gonna be, it's, gonna, it's not going to be any more of that, man. Most of going to get rid of America and every on every facet and on every level, man. Right. And that's going to rock the, that's going to, that, that event, the destruction of America is going to rock the planet Earth, man. Okay, because of the nuclear missiles and the fire coming from the chariots, man, the explosions, 
and just the effect of America not being around anymore. Because when uh, empires collapse, even if the empire that, even if the economy of that nation is shitty, that has a reverberating effect throughout the planet Earth, man. That's right. It affects other nations too. Prime example, 2008, the housing bubble crisis. That's still being affe affected to this very day. And that's the that's spirit out because uh, that faggot Warren Buffett said that the world is still feeling the uh, pains, as he called it, of the 2008 uh, housing bubble crisis. So that goes to show you that America is still, has fucked up the world so bad that they can't recover. And they're saying that it's going to go look more like Japan, that they got to go into negative interest rates. So there's no point of saving. In fact, Warren Buffett said that he would take his money out of the accounts, out of banking accounts, if the, if the central bank goes into negative interest rates. Because there's no point, there's no point of keeping your money in these accounts if, if you can't make a profit off of it. So this shit is fucking over, man. Verse 15. The merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. Verse 16. And saying, Halas, Halas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Verse 17, for one hour so great riches has come to naught and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors, as many as trade by sea, stood afar off. And that goes to show you that's how America gets all their uh, commodities to by sea, okay? Because America is, like you were saying, Ark, is the biggest consumer. And all their fucking commodities come from all these other countries, so they got to import it in. America imports more than they export. Right. And they import more than any other nation ever. That's right. Ever, okay? Once again, proving that this is talking about America, you fucking idiots. And every shipmaster and all the companies and ships and sailors, and as many as trade by sea, stood afar off. Verse 18, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? Con, what city is like unto this great city, man? That can't be talking about anywhere else but America, man. Because Amer um, uh, the American empire or corporation whatever you want to call it, because America is a corporation. That's right. All right? There has not ever been any nation or any empire that has written, risen on upon, upon the face of the earth that, that, um, that has ever been like America, man. America has been like all these other empires plus a thousand, man. Times, times a thousand, just all the way to the peak of wickedness, man. Verse 19, and they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Halas, Halas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her coastlines. Costliness. Costliness. I mean, that's, that's the spirit anyway, because mm -hmm. America is surrounded by ports. Mm -hmm. On the, co on the coast of cities, go ahead. For one hour is she made desolate. Verse 20, rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh hath avenged you on her. Con, man. So the Most High is destroying America to avenge the blood of the saints and the holy apostles and prophets. happening man because America the way the way uh, uh, the American uh, media is beginning to portray our people and be, just being uh, beginning to portray anyone who believes in the Bible you can clearly see that in the near future man it's gonna come to the point where there's gonna be a lot of martyrs here in America man a lot of Israelites people who, who believe that they're Israelites men of the Lord dying here in America okay because America uh, these people and and, and um, the American media is gonna push uh, push the, out the idea that we're a bunch of radicals, man. Just like it was in ancient Rome, man. 
those, the, the Christians, so-called Christians who died in ancient Rome, they didn't, they weren't martyred because some noble reason, man. They were martyred because they actually, they believed that, that Yahweh Shai was going to come back and that Yahweh Shai was going to take the kingdom from the rest of these nations, man, and was going to destroy all these other kingdoms, man. And the Roman imperialists was not having it, man. They considered those Christians to be terrorists, so to speak, if you want to use that terminology. And you can see that happening, happening today with Project Megiddo, with Project Megiddo. Verse 21, and a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, man. So most high, most high, when the most high uh, brings brings the destruction of America, man, it's not going to be pretty, man. Most high is not going to take it easy on you. Okay, the most high is not going to throw you some slack or anything like that, man. Most high is going to throw you nuclear missiles and fire and earthquakes and just blood and vengeance, man. Right? Verse 22, and the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. Fine. So there ain't not going to be any more American Idol. There's not going to be no more Dancing with the Star. America Got Talent. Ain't going to be no more uh, Top 100 M MTV. None of that's happening, man. No, that's not, there ain't there gonna be, there's, there's going to be nothing to rejoice over in that day. Okay, none of your marching, your Washington marching bands, your, your, your uh, Philharmonics, your Adrian R. Centers, okay? That's all getting done away with, all right? And it's getting done away with by the destruction and by the hand and the, by the vengeance of the Most High and His Son, man. All right? And no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. Con, because Most High's going to destroy this place, man. Ain't going to be no more construction work here in America. Ain't going to be no more building up, building up buildings and skyscrapers and, and, and stadiums and movie theaters or whatever whatever have you. That's all getting done away with. America is going gonna, gonna to be destroyed and it's never coming back again, man. Shall be found any more of thee. And the sound of the millstone, Salaka, and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. Verse 23. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And uh, who holds the light of that candle? Oh, let's, what's that fucking Statue of Liberty? She holds that fucking light. Okay? That's how you know it's talk about America. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. Right, that's it, man. That's it right there. So that's, this is the future of America. This is your destiny, America. Okay, the destiny of America is utter destruction. For by their sorceries were all nations deceived. Verse 24, and in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. And the scriptures say uh, um, the same way of, of Babylon, or the same way the children of Israel have fallen in the midst of Babylon, uh, thus that Babylon shall fall all the slain of the earth. Man. All the slain. So there's going to be all kinds of nations living here in America. The Most High destroys this shit, man. Even though you're going to have a, a lot of people fleeing, there's going to be there's going to be a point where there ain't, ain't going to be no more time to flee, man. You're just going to be caught, just caught in the middle. That's it. 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 Happen and it's just all said and done. It's gonna, it's gonna be. You know, when we look back at America and when all these heathen nations 
when we look back at, an, at America, we're going to be rejoicing, man, because we're going to be in our kingdom. America was, was, uh, was, uh, was, was basically the tool that was used to bring, our, bring about our downfall. But you heathens that loved America so much, y'all going to look at, back at America with just regret and disdain and just remorse, man. This was that great city. Now it's, now it's become a habitation of devils and every unclean and hateful bird. The sad tree shall dwell there. The owl shall dwell there. Ain't going to be nothing popping here in America anymore, man. It's, gonna, it's just going to be over and done with. Okay. That's it. Getting on America. This is Romans 9 and 13. As it, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Jacob is so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and those that are um, mixed upon the other nations. That's Jacob. That's Those are the Israelites. The Lord said he loves them, but he hates the so-called white man, which is Esau. The scriptures say that the Lord hates. He hates Esau. Now, we've been getting into America. The reason why the Lord hates America, the main reason is because it's the main hub of Esau's rulership. And that's why it got to be destroyed, because Esau's rulership got to gotta come down. The Lord hates them. And he hates them so much, he gave them all the tools to do the most wickedness so the Lord would be just and, and totally annihilating him. Totally annihilating the so-called white man. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. They, they don't... In Esau, they they set up these churches, they set up these seminar seminary schools, so um, so that they won't bring that out. Esau know that shit. Just a precept that this is where they getting that from. Malachi chapter one verse uh, two. I have loved you, say the Lord. Yet ye have, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yeah, I loved Jacob and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Yes, come. The Lord tells, telling his people, I, I have loved y'all. He brought us out of captivity time and time again, gave us promises, and, his, and Jacob's brother Esau, he's telling them, I hate Esau, which is a so-called white man. He hates him. And he laid um, his, his, um, his foundations waste. And that's um, um, going to be um, manifested again with America. He's going to lay America waste. Uh, and Esau's whole rulership, the so-called white man's his whole rulership, is going to be no more. He don't hate America just because the land. He hates the trees here. He hates the, the, the soil here. No, it's what the so-called white man did here. That's right. It's what the so-called white man did to his people. The so-called white man is our enemy. That's right. Our, our blood since, since birth enemy. Since before birth enemy. Going back to Cain. That's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came out to me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Mount Seir is Esau. I'll tell you in Genesis, chapter 36, that Mount Seir is Edom. Edom means red. And um, the so-called white man, you ain't never seen a white man in your life. They're red. Their pigment is red. You slap them on their arm, they, it's gonna turn red. They laugh, they red. They take your shit, they turn red. When they come out the womb, as to tell you in the scriptures, when Esau came out, he was red all over. When the baby come out the womb, when the so-called white baby come out the womb and it's crying and all that shit, it's red. And e Esau and Edom is Mount Seir. So right now, um, this is Mount Seir. This America stands for Mount Seir also. Verse 3, and say unto it, thus saith the Lord Power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Yeah, calm. The, low, the most high is against the so-called white man. The so-called white man is, um, is deceived by his own wickedness. He, the most high is against you. There's no future for the so-called white man. Literally, though. Literally, because after, cause after a thousand years of slavery, he's going to be wiped out. The Most High is against America. He's against Russia. 
He's against Great Britain and Belgium and Luxembourg and all those places. All, all, all that shit is, is, is in the prophecy to be, to, um, be uh, nothing. Verse 4, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Verse 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel. Esau has had a perpetual, which means an everlasting, a long hatred against um, um, our people. Since, since Jacob and Esau were born, even before the, the angel told, um, told, um, uh, was it, uh, Rebecca? Yeah, the angel told Rebecca, they, they, uh, well, they'll be fighting in your womb. Esau been fighting against us. So, so that hatred goes back. That hatred goes way back. It, it, Cain and Abel. Calm. So it's it's deeper than rap. And they manifest their hatred by, by slaughtering us time and time and again. Time and time again. And really you go back you go back all the way into the spirit, man, because the most I created everything two and two. Mm -hmm. So you know, uh, Israel can't get along with them. They they on the left hand side. Yeah, calm. They on the they on the left hand, we on the right hand. They just they the wicked. And they right there on the left hand side. You got Satan and he then the guy. Esau, Esau right there, and then the other nations and shit. Con, yeah, yeah, con, like on the right side, like the brother just said, you got Yahweh shot, and then you got Yasharala. Con, Israel. Right. You got more? Come on. Con. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Verse 6. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Yeah, since, since, since the so-called white man like blood, as the scriptures say, since the so-called white man like doing all of this, and he still does it across the um, world anyways, right. he still does it to our people, putting poison in our foods. He's still killing us off during, during, um, by the many wicked and divisive ways that he has. Since he like doing that, the Lord got something special for him, right. which is really... Payback. That's all it is. A simple payback for touching the Lord, the eye of the Lord's, uh, the apple of the Lord's eye. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Verse seven. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passes out and him that returneth. Yeah, Mount Seir will be most desolate in. And that includes America and those other countries um, um, over there in Europe. The Lord gonna have some some other places gonna be hit by missiles. Some other places gonna have brothers come off of chariots and just slaughter the whole fucking place. That's but right. Esau gonna get it. Period. That's right. And the rest and, and those who su who survive, they coming straight into slavery. And brothers gonna put it on their ass. I, I was like giggling in my mind the other day at work. I was like, man, brothers really, boy, brothers finna get Esau ass, boy, in the kingdom. It's right. Because we gonna have, because Lord willing, we part of that legend, part of that first dominion, man. We gonna have, even all Israel, all Israel who come back in the kingdom, we gonna have the anger of the Lord on them towards Esau. And it's gonna be a righteous thing. Yep. It's gonna be a righteous thing. And it's gonna be a long 1,000 years, but still in our mind, we gonna be like, man, we. We only got a thousand years with them, still. So we gonna get them. We gonna get them good, man. But even before then, the Lord got nukes. Even dur during Jacob's trouble, you gonna have Edomites getting it. Edomites out here, um, fucking um, starving. This is their judgment also. This is judgment of they fucking land. Verse eight. Verse eight. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills, in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers, shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Con, um, the so-called white man killed over 100 million um, so-called Native Americans and over 100 million so-called Negroes, whether they, whatever numbers they got, we know they killed hundreds, hundreds of millions of um, these people on this side. The Lord's gonna um, kill hundreds of millions and billions of them. 
whatever number they is, that the Lord is going to destroy them. He's really going to destroy the so-called white men. And he's going to embarrass them because they embarrassed us. You taking a slave and raping them. Uh, you, you a man raping a, uh, 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 another man in front of his family. That's what the so-called white man did. That's how low he go. And that's entertainment for him. That's, yeah, he enjoyed that, it. That's funny for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's going to be funny when, when, in the late, when in the kingdom we have you in fucking slavery and we've just beaten your ass down, man. Because we're not faggots like you, man. It's got, the most high, the scriptures say the most high going to have them in derision, man. The most high going to rock and laugh at you people. All right? So it's going to be real funny when, when your head's getting chopped off, when we, when we are tearing uh, children out of your women's stomach, man, when we raping your women. It's going to be real funny then, man.